Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to try to understand what would be the best possible way for cavalry players to progress throughout the gameplay because of course you want to have a hero purse which is amazing and you need to understand which hero pair does what, right? We have already done hero pair progression guide about um, infantry, about mages and about uh, marksmen. Finally, it's time for us to speak about more of a like different kind of play style, which is cavalry, catching the refilling legions, trying to fight one versus one, and of course the totally different play style than anything else. So if you are a Cavs player or you want to be a cavalry player, this video should be for you because I will try to explain every single hero pair from the beginners to the late game stage of the game, right? So let's dive in. Uh, first of all, when you start the game and when you are a beginner, you want to have a good cavalry hero pair, right? Uh, it's good that the game gives us the possibility to make a like one of the best legendary hero pair like from the gold keys from normal normal keys and for beginners i think that should be the main priority right to get the heroes uh, from the gold keys like as much as possible so you will have at least one a legendary march legendary hero pair which should be fine right for cavalries there is one obvious choice which is emrys and bakshi uh this hero pair is one of the most free to play friendly hero pair in the whole game because whenever you start the game you can get both of them you can unlock emrys and bakshi together from just normal keys uh, from just playing the game and collecting golden keys uh, so you will open those chests and if you will get lucky you should be able to get uh, emrys and bakshi at the same time so what kind of hero pair this is right this is a rage accumulation uh, skill damage factor hero pair which has a high damage by the skill um, the uh, talent trees for this hero pair is of course like some people play Emrys as a primary because they want to have more mobility uh, but some people are playing with Bakshi as a primary because they want to have skill damage talent tree because uh, Bakshi and Emrys are actually dealing damage by the skill right so if you go to Emrys and Bakshi uh, you are already on a good track you already have one good hero pair especially during the beginner stages of the game and you will be able to uh, try to add skills on Emrys especially because every single spell of the Emrys is uh, usable in open field. Unfortunately, one skill of the Bakshi, which is peacekeeping skill, doesn't really do anything during the PvP, right? Uh, in terms of artifacts, well, of course, there is a lot of choices for cavalry artifacts. Uh, for example, from normal keys, you can actually get a lot of good ones, right? The best one, in my opinion, should be the Kingslayer. Uh, if you got Kingslayer, you are attaching Kingslayer to Emrys and Bakshi. The worst version of Kingslayer is, of course, Sorlan's Blade. The less damage in general than Kingslayer, but like same kind of uh, skill. Uh, if you want to be more of a versatile mobility type of uh, legendary hero pair, I think Storm Arrows, because of the blink skill, uh, should be a great uh, artifact, especially because you have Cavalry Unit Attack and Legion Attack uh, stats, right? In terms of the best artifact for this hero pair, I think there is one most important choice, which is, of course, Springulates, the best uh, merit farmer artifact for caval calves for a while, especially during the time when it was introduced to the game. Springblades was the most important and most used artifact, especially in terms of tier 5 players, right? Huge damage, dealing damage to multiple targets, dealing damage to uh, the, like, rolling around, and plus you are getting a keen, which is 15% more uh, damage, more attack for 5 seconds, which is especially great for Emrys and Bakshi hero pair, right? So let's say we already have this one hero pair, which is Emrys and Bakshi. We have a nice... Um, um, like an artifact and in terms of warpath i think a uh, golden rock should be the case a rage accumulation speed on ex exuberance and in general first attack is great uh, skill to have in general for the golden rock because this warpath actually is all about rage accumulation and skill damage factor which is same as our hero pair so match is just perfect right it, it just matches everything pretty well 
Uh, in terms of progression, what would be the next hero pair to make uh, um, other than Emrys and Bakshi? Because you know that if you choose the Legion type you want to play, it will be better to have multiple hero pairs, multiple Legions uh, to succeed during the fights, right? And of course, there is one more choice, another hero pair, which is kind of good in my opinion, Theodore and Thorondil, right? Theodore and Thorondil amazing hero pair in general i think theodore is great uh, legendary hero amazing stats hp reduction 30 percent awakening theodore is lot 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 tanky and i think theodore and forondil even forondil with thea can be second or third uh, cavalry hero pair so at first let's speak about theodore and a foreign deal what this hero pair gives us right this hero pair gives us a lot of damage and a lot of tankiness um, in terms of emrys and bakshi the, that hero pair is not that tanky it's full damage full offensive but theodore and foreign deal has a quite great uh, tankiness uh, buffs which is hp buff 10 percent attack resistance 10 percent right here we have defense buff which is also really important and one of the most important things about theodore Theodore Legion takes 25% less normal attack damage whenever it's awakened. So, a lot of tankiness and same with the foreign deal, right? Uh, we have some offensive skills, but some of the rage accumulations, skill damage factors, because generally uh, the damage which cavalry players are dealing, that doesn't matter the hero, is skill damage factor. That would be like second hero pair, which would be pretty good in my opinion in terms of uh, cavalries, right? Let's say third the hero pair. Well, let's say uh, in terms of Theodore and Forondil, what would be the artifact, right? Like appropriate artifact uh, to put on this hero pair, right? Of course, you have a lot of choices. Uh, same choices like uh, Kingslayer, same choice as Shorland's Blade. Like these artifacts from normal keys are great. And like if you have extra artifact which you are not applying to any cavalry hero, I think. Kingslayer and Shorland's Blade can be totally fine. Other than that, the epic artifacts for cavalry hero pairs, of course, Spring Blades, yet again, uh, even Oath of the Storm Peak, because of course, it, like skill might not be that great, but cavalry unit attack bonuses are quite important, right? Uh, so you still have a lot of choices for uh, cavalry, Theodore and Forondil playstyle artifacts, right? The third uh, hero pair, which is totally fine to use, especially as a cavalry player who wants to play with different many different hero pairs and if you are not in uh, spring warden players which means you have normal caps right uh, well if you are spring wardens this will be additionally better uh, hero pair for and thea uh, that's the hero pair with forest eagles i think this hero pair can exist it's quite good uh, especially if you are playing with multiple cavalry heroes uh, thea will give us a lot of shields if it's awakened like to shielding two nearby legions and Forondil, well, Forondil is really easy to understand. Forondil's main idea is to deal damage and to be fast in terms of march speed around the battlefield. And yeah, that's why Thea more of a defensive and buffer. And Forondil, because of the damage and because of the speed, a march speed which you will have. In addition to that, Forest Eagles are one of the fastest uh, troop types in the game currently and for on deal actually works pretty fine with that too uh, but there is another one if you don't want to use thea here you can use for on deal and craig that can work also right so we have also like we have already three or four cavalry hero pairs which should be working totally fine um first one is emrys and bakshi second one is um, theodore and Forondil, if you don't want to use Forondil with Theodore, you can use Forondil with uh, Thea, Forondil with Craig, right? Even you can use Theodore with Emrys. So the last hero pair, which is the last cavalry heroes which got introduced and which I think are really, really interesting in terms of strengths of the, like, if we're gonna compare it to the old heroes, uh, Tobin and Urag, right? Or Urag or Tobin, depending which playstyle you want to run. If you want to run more defensive and, and tanky playstyle with the Cavs, you are putting Tobin as a primary with the tank talent tree. But if you want to have more damage, you are going to put Urag as a primary and you are going to uh, use skills talent tree, right? In terms of this hero pair, I think this hero pair is absolutely amazing, especially for Cavs. This hero pair has everything what cavalry needs. A lot of buffs, tankiness, skill damage, 
damage in general and survivability of the mobility, right? The Tobin has a quite interesting play kit. It's more of a defensive playstyle, a cavalry hero, like reduced range, the damage taken 30% is a lot a damage taken reduction 20 percent that's for rally unfortunately and of course hp bonus one of the best bonuses uh, in the game in my opinion and 20 percent is quite a lot right and counter attack damage bonus hero skill damage bonus and especially uh, the awakening skill when another hero in tobin's legion deals damage with a rage skill they deal 20 percent more damage when targeting range legions so anti-ranged hero pair right and Urag, well, more of a damage dealer, skill damage factor, 300 splash, 1.6k damage, skill damage deal bonus 10%, reduction 10%, and mainly I think this Europa is more of an offensive style, and generally, if you want to have fun with cows, I think you kinda have to have uh, Tobin and Urag, right? Uh, in terms of artifact for this Europa, it's really interesting because this new artifact is amazing in my opinion, it just deals too much damage, like, honestly, whenever I'm looking at the PvP and they are using, um, like, this artifact, let me get a wolf hole horn, it just destroys ranged legions, right? Legion defense stat, cavalry unit attack stat, which is nice, at least one is offensive, and summons a cavalry charge in a designated the right direction dealing damage to three enemy legions and inflicting tremble for two seconds 2.2 thousand skill damage factor physical on level one is huge right and when cavalry hero commander launches a rage skill damage target legions can bleed deals damage every three seconds for three seconds and 300 physical damage factor effect can be triggered once every 90 seconds amazing artifact a lot of uh, Good skill um, buffs, lot of important damage dealer buffs, and I think if you are running Urag with the Tobin or with the Urag skill damage factor plus this artifact, you are going to demolish every single cavalry, every single mage or ranged unit in general, right? So this is the first, uh, fourth um, cavalry hero pair, which I think is great, which I think will be amazing during the PvP, right? And one additional hero pair. Uh, which should be working great, which is one of the most mandatory hero pairs, especially for cavalry group uh, fighting, is like the newest hero pair, which is pretty weird to say in terms of caps, but uh, play, try to play with Kogul and Nika as a fifth uh, cavalry hero pair, put cavalry, hero, cavalry troops with this hero pair, try to get mobility talent tree, and trust me, you will be running like a cavalry player and why you should use this one, right? Uh, whenever you are using Cavs, uh, Skogul and the Nika will be able to give a lot of slow and a lot of interruption uh, towards the target which which is running. So you will have another hero pair which is not Cavs heroes but they are actually working amazingly well uh, by just being a debuffer, by just being a interceptor by just being on another way how to catch people right so if you are using four cavalry legions put fifth one skogul within nika uh, put mobility uh, talent tree try to get uh, artifact which gonna give uh, like defensive and mobility or mobility and attacking stats and i think you should be pretty happy uh, regarding your five cavalry hero pairs and men gen generally try to look at the one and single out hero pairs mages especially marchers or uh, the alliance war situation whenever like alliance is trying to refill their legions and they are weak that's when you are generally the best one that's how you can affect the wars right and artifacts i think artifacts are most important for cavalry players try to rush towards your target when every single artifact you have on your heroes are charged or ready to use right i hope this um, small guide regarding cavalry hero pair progression will be helpful for you guys and if it is as always press like subscribe share it always gives me more motivation to make more videos about this game I wish everybody an amazing morning, night or day, wherever you are. We are going to see each other really soon. Bye bye and luck.